Will O'Donoghue in the final for I don't know how many now you've played in, but uh, yeah. it's, it's it's somewhere where you expect to be at the start of the year, and now it's it's reality. Yeah, I think I mean at the start of the year, everyone sets out their stall and ho- and hopes to be in the county final and trains. Uh, and you know, puts in the effort to be in the county final. So I mean, that's just a, getting to the county final is is realistically a byproduct of putting on those procedures in place. I mean, uh, and you don't just get to a county final on a whim. It's been a very competitive group stage with what is deemed the six best senior teams in the one group, and then you're going to have to play two of those teams again in the semi final and final. So I mean, if by no means was getting to a county final an easy an easy thing to do. So. We're just delighted that we, we managed to get there, yeah. And since you're going for two in a row, it's something that I, I would imagine that you've looked at doing, backing something up back to back. You'd obviously disappointment in, in March, but now it's it's a chance to... I know you won't be looking forward, uh, any forward from the doing game, but this it's, it's an ambitious club, an ambitious yeah, team. Absolutely, and I mean, I, I, I think anyone who has realistic chances of winning anything or doing something special is obviously going to pencil something down and strive for it. But just because we're striving for it doesn't mean that we expect it to happen. I mean, we work hard so that we put ourselves in these positions so that we can potentially do stuff like this. You know, it's not just that we dream about it or talk about it. We Ultimately, we try back it up. At the start of the year, obviously, the goal was to get to the county final and win it. I mean, we're in the county final, so we're going to be going gung ho for it, whether it was our first county final in 10 years or whether it was to do back to back. I mean, you just have to take it in isolation and, and take it for what it is. It's a county final that's there to be to be won, essentially. You face a, D- a Dune team you know very well from underage all the way up. What kind of challenge are you expecting from them? I'm expecting an incredibly competitive game that a winning margin is going to be very small, whatever side it comes from. I mean, you've got two very competitive teams, two teams who went quite well throughout the group stage. Our game against them in the first round was very even. The, the scoreline may have reflected that we won by, I think, maybe two, three, four in the end. But, I mean, it was a lot closer than that. Uh, Doon had some good goal chances towards the end of that game, and I think it's going to be a very even game. They, I mean, they put Kilmallock to the sword with, with seven points when there was a semi-final spot on the line, so... I mean, I don't see any reason why it won't be a massively competitive game. And, and yeah, we know the lads from underage. Um, but I mean, that's that's just the way it is. I mean, you know, it's I think that's a sign that we're two very good and competitive clubs, and it makes for a, a, a good contest. From your own point of view, move back to centre back position. I'm not sure sure if you were too yeah. familiar with. I know you've played in the half back line before, but an added bonus then from your own point of view of being captain. How was that manifested itself this year? How have you found captain um, of the team yeah. A and B? In a new position, I suppose it's probably been uh, it's probably one of the easiest captain roles I, I could have I could have gotten in terms of there's so many leaders in the dressing room. It's you know you're you're dealing with guys like Kevin Downs and Shane Dowling and you know they they're nearly seen as the older guys. They they love that one, but uh, I mean you've got a lot of natural leaders behind me in my Casey and Podge Kennedy and all around me in terms of the half back line midfielders our half far line our full far line. You know you need leaders in every line like that. And I mean, it's not like I'm overly vocal or anything like that. We all we all know our job. We all hold each other to high standards. And I mean, if I, it's not up to me to call people out. You know, it's it's uh, we've got a good a good um, a good environment in where everyone is accountable for their actions. So I mean, it's it's to be honest, it's it's a nothing role to be honest. And then there's been new management come in. Obviously, Shane and the lads were there for a while. I know there's been a bit of consistency with Daryl Droog. And, uh, but Paul coming in, it, it seems from the outside anyway, looking, it's been a seamless transition. And it, and it has been quite seamless. I mean, the team is pretty much, you know, the nucleus of the team is pretty much the same. We've got the pretty much the same panel with some good additions. And, I mean, everyone is adapting because, like I said, we've been playing with each other a long time. And whether someone like Conor Hula came into the team the last day and had a fantastic impact and it just shows that, you know, anyone who's waiting on the sideline is just chomping at the bit to get in. So, I mean, when you have an environment like that and you, you have the continuation of Alan and Dara as well as Paul fitting seamlessly in with them, I mean, it it makes for an easy transition. And I, I, I say the word transition, it's not like we're in a transition phase. Like I said, it's much of the same team. It's much of much of the same in terms of our training so it's it's been a it's been it's been a, an exciting year it's been a good year and one I think where everyone is learning and developing yet again so it's very positive